Ladies and gentlemen, I can't be with you today, but I wanted to address you this message for this event that you dedicate to the crucial matter of the regulations against climate change. This topic is key because, as the IPCC's experts tell us, we are in a race against time to fight climate change and its consequences. As the Minister for Energy Transition, I carry Emmanuel Macron's ambition to make France the first major country in the world to phase out fossil fuels. To achieve this ambition, our strategy is based on two main pillars. First, reducing our energy consumption through energy sufficiency and efficiency. And regarding sufficiency, we are now heading in Europe with what is seen as the most advanced policy. Second, increasing our production of decarbonized energy thanks to renewable energies and nuclear power. Thanks to these levers, we managed to reduce by 2.7% our CO2 emissions last year. This is in line with our international targets, but we know that we will need to accelerate. At the international level, we are running for a great climate ambition. First, by being pioneers on the European level in the field of climate regulation, we recently adopted Fit for 55, the most ambitious climate package in the world. It will enable the European Union to reduce its emissions by 55% by 2030 and to reach climate neutrality by 2050. The 3,500 pages of legislation and regulatory measures provide a climate roadmap for every sector – transportation, housing, shipping, agriculture, industry. Furthermore, we need to maintain our ambitions at the international scale. In the perspective of this year's COP28, we must keep our 1.5 degree target alive at all costs. Therefore, we must abandon all fossil fuels. We are at work with our international partners, especially producing countries, to build ambitious commitments upon this matter in provision of COP28. This is a tough target. We must also give every country the means to achieve a fair transition and therefore we also need a funding big bang. This is why, in a few days, France will host a summit for a new global financial pact to help developing countries invest in their energy transition. Fighting climate change requires our general mobilization. So have a great event and let's keep working together.